What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris. Patrick liked licking his armpit, and he was really grossed out by it, apparently. And welcome back to some more. Well, let's play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Last episode, we made it up to this cave where Plankton instructed and demanded we make our way through it. And if we actually take a look at our menu right now, we are not even halfway through this level yet. See, this is what I'm talking about. Well, this is like, what, the third, fourth episode? Uh, third, I believe, actually. Jeez. No. Fourth. And we're only like, we're not even half, or, yeah, we're, yeah, we're not even, we're not even halfway through this level yet. That's what I'm talking about. Like, in Super Mario 64, Sunshine, etc., etc., and even, like, Galaxy. Yeah, definitely even Galaxy. Like, we would have been through a world long before this. Some fun He's over there! They're pretty forgiving, actually, when you go in the goo the first time. See, it bounces you back. But if you jump on it again, and then you don't make it. No, well, okay, if you hit the goo and then you bounce back and you still won't make it onto the ledge, you do just fall through it. Um, alright. Yep. Okay, yeah. Yep, that's explaining again what we already know. That pretty much is just explaining you could pick up a throw through after you've already thrown it. Which is weird, because they've already kind of explained that. You know, I hate these glowing crystals because they totally look like socks. I know there is a sock in here somewhere, so we gotta look out for that. You did indeed, Patrick. You did indeed. Oh god, those spikes. Oh, oh god dang it, I hate spikes. Oh, they're so spiky. <laughs> anything- I used to have this weird phobia, well I still kinda do, where anything spiky, it's like nails on a chalkboard for me. Does anyone else get that? Everyone I've ever told that before is just like, what? It's really hard to explain. Do I even want this? No, I don't think I even want this, actually. Well, we took it over here anyways. Alright, well, we got a checkpoint. It's weird Patrick wears the same underwear that SpongeBob does, but okay, we'll take it. <laughs> Alright. It's almost even better to just take the damage from the spikes, because there's no point in really avoiding them. As you oh, god dang it. No, 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 run, run, run. Oh, god! Holy crap, oh, don't touch, don't touch those, please. As you see, the spikes actually don't come through the holes, oddly enough. You see? Hmm, I don't know, I thought that was kind of weird. Uh, oh god, I'm terrified. Uh, okay, grab that. So this is how loud the spikes are compared to, like, everything else. You know what? What we can do is... We could turn that down a bit. I think it's supposed to be about there, actually. Oh, that's still pretty freaking loud, actually. See, the thing is, like, you think of, oh, of course, you all want to turn the sound effects down, but in reality, it's like, that's still pretty freaking loud, and they're leveled out now. Okay, this is going to be very difficult to get to. Come on. Cooperate, game. There we go. No! Oh, well, that works somehow. Yeah! Oh! Dang it. <laughs> okay. Woo! Uh, the way to throw through also have to be pressure plates. Indeed, they will. Um, I don't think we can get that. Oh, well, we could probably get it from this. We might be able to get it if we... No, we just can't place down food, can we? I don't think we have... we can do that. That works. I really want this pair of underwear because I'm on my last hole. There we go. Kind of shocked I was able to get that, actually. There we go. Throw it on the pressure plate. Oh, dang it! Okay, well, at least that gives me the time to show you guys that... Patrick does, uh, much like Tiki's, I see the little hand. When the hand shows up, that means he's locked onto it. Because, see, he threw it on there. Otherwise, he'll throw it. He throws pretty far. I'll just show you guys right now, even. See, I'll just throw it, and... Well, that was in the prime example. But, yeah. Okay, so we're actually gonna throw that. And then we're gonna use it as a platform to get up here. Yay! And then we can throw this on top of this when it locks on, like that. And then jump up here, and then jump up here, yeah. And then we will do the same over here, yeah, just like that. I don't know what I have an action for. There we go. Stack them, stack them, then da, da, nugget and a biscuit. Oh, okay, I was like, do, do we get this yet? But no, we haven't. All right, well, cowabunga, dude. Cow freaking bunga. All right. Uh, I want that underwear, actually. <laughs> and that underwear. And freaking flamethrowers of doom over here. That still managed to hit me somehow. I call shenanigans. There we go. We did it. I don't think I missed anything there. I hope I didn't. did. But I get the feeling I missed a sock or something. I don't think there was though. All right. 
So here's the freezy fruit again, which is the same thing as the throw fruit. Pick it up, throw it in water, and it freezes. If you run over here, there's a suck. I'm just gonna be very careful that timer. Is there? Oh yeah, there's a purple shiny object. I remember there being something over here. Is there anything else? Oh, I'm totally dead. Uh, Alright, I think that was all we needed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all we needed, actually. Because I hit the child over here, bam! It's kind of weird, there's a whole bunch of random, like, citizens and places in the game. Like, some of the places that make sense, but, like, here? Why, why, is, why are these people here? There's no reason for you guys to be in this cave. Like, at all. You now, freedom of travel, I guess. Oh yeah, Patrick Belly. Okay, that's true. All right, so we both have near and a robot. Some of them will go flying, and if you spawn anything besides you, and the shockwave is pretty big actually. Look how big that shockwave is. Um, some a lot of the robots you'll actually stun instead of destroy though. Oops. I was saying I think we can use a throw fruit to destroy enemies, but I missed. Like it, hammers, it just stuns them. Mer. Ham. Oh wait, no, these both say merge. Oh, I get it. The ham is the ham part. I get it. I get it. Okay, so everything besides the first robot that we just killed. Patrick may pick up robot. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Uh, you know what? I just I kind of want to kill you. Get out. <laughs> All right. Uh, if we go over here, at this point we actually need to stun a robot. Oh, 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 we did stun both of them. Oh, you see the stars around them are also like wrenches. Oh, plankton. I didn't even see the plankton there before. And we can throw them into there. You need to die, sir. Thank you. And if we go over here, we can destroy the duplicate Get those freaking special. You're actually invincible in these cutscenes, which is good. You don't take damage. I'm really thankful for that. <laughs> and there we go. We got that. We're done through the cave. And you still need to die, sir. All right. Oh, I feel like I missed something. If there's no more caves in the level, I think I might have missed the sock, but I guess we shall see. Alright, let's go on to the Jellyfish Lake, That did that say? I believe it did. That's probably a nice pair of new pair of socks Ahoy I just there. got. Squidward tells me oh, you're looking for the so King good. Jellyfish. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. What? Why have they been seeing him? him? Top of old sport mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Why why are people climbing this mountain then? Oh boy, Mr. Oh, I kinda skipped that, I'll see what but I can you know. Do. We all see that naturally. Wait, will he say it again? Ah, uh, nope. And here's another area where I can actually go back to jellyfish caves. And you can actually do this with any area! It's not as if you get to an area and then you can never go back. You can go back and forth between every area in the game. That's good, there are no points of no return in this game. So that's fantastic. Besides the bosses, well, some of the bosses, the main event bosses, you can't fight. Well, actually, you can, come to think of it, so no, there are no points in the return in this game. Whoa, he's not even holding that. Tartar sauce! <gasps> Bonjour, Patrick, and a squirrel? Well, I can only assume that's supposed to be Sandy, but we haven't even seen Sandy yet. It's kind of weird. I don't really get why Sandy's there, but all right, whatever you say, Mr. Tartar Sauce. Uh -huh. So yeah, this guy actually shoots, and they do land, and you see they spread out a bit. Uh, we actually, this is the first time where we have to hit an enemy more than once. I have to hit him twice to defeat him, and this guy's so happy. The little happy is dance to the music. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty redonkadonk, -donk, actually. Okay, Patrick can destroy one Tiki. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anything up here? Nope. Oh, I got damage from it. Oh, of course I did. Why not? Why the heck not? Why the heck not? Right. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, yeah. Alright, anything back here doesn't seem to be. Okay, let's continue on. Jellyfish over here. Uh, Mrs. Puff is a new character. Hello. Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to Ooh. do. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. How dare they? How get it back. You're welcome to it. Show up, Mrs. Puff. <laughs> oh, Patrick the Rapper. Okay, well. 
we have not... Let's take a look of if there's anything down here, first of all. You know what? This spot right here always confused me, because there's these tiki's here. They don't lead to anything. I don't think so, anyways. Let's have a bad memory. I'm pretty sure that will lead to anything. It almost looks like we can make it to that... Oh, that's not even a cave. From here, from like that angle, that looks like a cave where that tree is. <laughs> oh, thank you, if you, whoever blessed me. If anyone blessed me, I love you. I, I just want you to know that. If you didn't bless me, what the heck's wrong with you? I know what you, you know that I can't hear you, but still. <laughs> Wonder, okay, yeah, it's just tell me I can pick up robots. All right. So if you were to notice early in the level, we actually did see these heart chart things all over the place. Um, so... Your first thought would be, oh, we, this is just like a destroy them and beat them up part of the game or to kill all the robots. Nope! Not true. In case you're wondering, the robots are actually spawning from these fountains, which is oddly enough. You're actually supposed to throw the robots into those. So, well, I don't really understand why. I mean, we're destroying valuable sewage things for our own selfish endearment. But alrighty, I guess we're just gonna go with it. Oh god! Oh, 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 okay, I'm glad I didn't fall back into the goo. Oh, oh god! Oh, I just healed myself for nothing. Thanks, asshole. All right. Oh no. We gotta look carefully when we um, butt smash the hammer. The hammer bros. Their arms actually come off. Like the ham hammer comes off. You pick it up and it somehow attaches itself again. I don't understand how. But, all right. We did it! Ah! There we go. Fantastic. Many happies are with it. The robots also can't see me when I'm in cutscenes, oddly enough. I don't know, you think they'd at least be able to see you and try to attack you, but nope! They just stand there until the cutscene's done. It's a nice little feature they added, though. And I already have over 2,000 shiny objects, which just sounds like a lot. Well then, since I told you guys for like the bonus content in the game, you need like a million and a half star bits or something like that. Shiny objects, rather. It really kind of beat a little so how many I have right now. Um, I don't think... No, okay. Neither of those lead to anywhere we haven't been or will be going to. All right. Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. <laughs> oh snap! Can I get a cookie? No, we can't get a no. cookie. <laughs> no. I just like feel like a sort of no, you can't. Just no. This is a cheeky. Spot job will have sneak up on it or destroy it. Uh, Patrick may throw things at it from a distance. From a distance. Yeah. See, it's, they threw me a bus stop here, but do I actually want to change? I don't really know. I guess we shall? I mean, why would we be here otherwise? Right? I don't know. Did you say anything? Tell me you haven't been driving. Oh, I've been driving, actually. Of course not, Mrs. Pop. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. You don't need a license to drive a sandwich. Dream. Yeah. Sounds like a nightmare to me. Alright. Oh, well, let's continue on and forth. Let's see what else we can find here. Right. So yeah, these tiki's if you just run up on them, they disappear if you sneak up on them, however. For some reason- Oh, well that, that didn't show properly. Hey, it's a- it's, oh, another turkey! By turkey, I mean fish. And you're off the ledge, but you somehow come back somehow, magic. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, so all I have to do is sneak. Oops. Oh, we already messed that up. <laughs> Screw it. Um, yeah, we can destroy them. Oddly enough. Oh, you know what? Oh, this is like a fuse kind of thing here. If you pull this up, I believe it'll. Yeah! Destroy all the things. Fantastic. Okay. You need to shut up. Shut up. Get out of here. Yeah. Right, here's the next checkpoint. Once again, I feel like I have to talk really loudly because of the freaking waterfall. Oh, why must you make my editing job more annoying than it already is? Freaking waterfalls. The real assholes of the world, waterfalls. Okay. So we're gonna come over here. I just really want to take care of all the robots first. There are world multiple directions to go there. There's a sock up there, it looks like. Oh, you know what? Let's grab this box first. There we go. It's also a checkpoint up there, but I'm not really in fear of dying. Oh god, I'm totally gonna die now, aren't I? <laughs> Uh, SpongeBob should come back here later. We know it's a cruise bubble move. Okay, well, I'm glad I came here first, then, because there seems to be nothing over here. So let's see what happens when we sound on this. The cruise bubble, huh? Well, I'll leave I'll leave that to up 
the imagination of you guys of how you think what the cruise bubble might be based on like what this switch does push 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 indeed spongebob all right let's continue on this way let's see what we can find i wonder if that box connects to anything actually i'm gonna go back and check but uh too far it's so far away whoa those are you way up there uh, see the purple um the shiny object down there which, considering it's over goo, you would imagine me, Patrick, to use freeze food on, but, um, I, I guess that would be the benefit of bringing Patrick with you. I didn't really know who to bring. But, so far, it seemed like neither would have mattered. You must die! Yeah, I'm safe. This is a stone tiki. It cannot be destroyed by ordinary moves. Um, you do actually get a move later on that can destroy this, but that's not room until, like, really far in the game. Thunder tikis can destroy them. Oops. Like, much like so. Uh, we're gonna grab this pair of underwear while we're here. This pair of underpants. Oh, 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 for sake. Alright. Ah, oh. Alright, you guys can get out. Get out of here. Yeah. Um, there's a way to get up there, but I don't remember how. There's a hammer behind me, I saw. But, oh, God. Oh, okay, that popped up there. Like, how the heck do I get up here? Try destroying that. Nope. Oh. <laughs> okay, I thought maybe I'd be able to get up there using that somehow, but I don't see. Oh, you know what it might have been? Maybe I had to um, upstrike one of them. Oh, I bet that's really what it was. Yeah, because this, I believe, leads to the next part of the level. Let's take a look. Oh, does it? Let's take a look at this book. Yep. You know what? I'm gonna do the only thing I know how to. Kill myself! I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, SpongeBob. Everything will be okay. And that responds to everything. So now everything's all dandy and swell. And swell. Okay, so let's try my first thought. Oh, okay, I thought I died there for a second. No. Alas, I didn't know such thing. Right. Yeah. No! Herm. I know there's a definite way of getting up there. Maybe maybe just farther into this area. Oh, I should be dead. Actually, I should be dead. Alright. Yeah. Holy crap. That's always stressful. Hammers are actually pretty stressful to fight! It's because they're hard to predict where they're gonna throw their hammers. Um, what I Oh, I guess there's another one nearby? Uh, I'll actually get off the episode there. Next episode, we'll feed this clam and see where this takes me. Okay, this does. I thought this maybe lead to another area, but not quite yet. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please feel free to leave a like subscribe already. My name's Chris. The next episode, we'll feed the talking clam. Yeah, hello, how you doing today, clam? My name is Clam. I'm trying to get him to talk, but it's not working too well. Um, yep. <laughs> next episode, we'll probably get close to finishing jellyfish fields. Kind of. Actually, let's take a look at the pause menu, shall we? We're getting kind of close, yeah. Alright, so next episode, we'll finish off Jellyfish Hills. Maybe. I shouldn't promise that, because we actually might not. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and hit already. My name's Chris. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.